All right, seems like when it rains and pours with this mower, just seems like a, about a month I've had the idler pulley go out on it, put a new carburetor on it. I barely got one cutting in on the new carburetor. Hit those key and it was just clicking. So I jumped it and it was just the same thing. So I took it apart, looked at it, and it looked like the starter was could hardly turn the starter by hand and then it would free up and then it would be all right and then so I got a new starter we're going to put a new starter on it today all right I guess we'll get it going here I guess I'll take the lid off and... you got to take the shroud off and a 732nd fits the front and 3 8 or 10 M will fit the back but if 3 8 fits it a little better so I guess it's I guess it's a 3 8 yeah, like I say I just had this whole thing apart and starter off and looked at it the other day and I oiled it up a little bit thinking it but I think the bearings are shot in it. It's not that big of a deal to get off. I hate to have to take it off twice. Alright, I'll take the oil well, looking good. That's gotta come out. It's down on the carb pretty tight. So you better I kind of pull up on that first. All right, set that aside. All right, this one's 7 16 to get the, the battery cable off or the hot wire off. You should really probably watch that and take the battery loose, but just kind of watch it. Don't let it touch anything. And the starter actually has a star or a half inch. You can use a half inch on it. Okay, <clears throat> now we also have to look at how this is a steel teeth, so we also have to count the teeth. All right, let's count the teeth on the old one. Counting the, counting the sharpie is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Counting the sharpie, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Thank you. This actually had more positive reviews, or I should say it had more reviews that said fit like a champ, you know, fit like a charm or something like that, like fit, you know, as opposed to this didn't fit my mower. <laughs> so This was a T30 too, in case you're wondering. I like the ratchet works a little bit better anyway than that star. There we go. Boy, that, that one's in a bad spot, actually. I'll put a little bit of grease on that. There we go. This was 7 16 So, hopefully, see this thing, it's just tighter than heck, it won't hardly turn. I don't really want it to start. Alright, alright now we're going to put the shroud back on. My temporary permanent fix for the mouse mice chew the gas tank up. Chew the hole in the gas tank. Uh, okay, something. I put this thing back on and this shroud rubs. I just don't get it pushed down over that carburetor properly. Not a hard job. And I think the carburetor, or the, uh, the, the starter, I think was 
they had a bunch of them in there for 35 and the, but then they had some but the, some of the reviews were not as good this one was I think 40 so I got that one I thought for another five bucks is worth the you know actually it takes longer to get the darn shroud off and on that does the starter and I guess I could get ratcheted hex also so it's dusty boy it's been dry it's supposed to rain today but man it's I cut the other day and it started and I cut then when I went to move it from back there to up here is when I had a held the key and had it turn the uh, had it turn it Let's see what we got here All right, that's all it's got to do. Looks like I need some air in the tires. I'm not going to cut anyway. I'm just going to move it and put it under the overhang over there. So it's supposed to rain pretty good, which is fine. I think the last, what is this, Monday? Last Monday, it was almost all green in these trees. All these trees were green. And it was just a sprinkling of leaves on the grass. I guess we can put the lid back on. See this thing is real kind of hard to turn for 35 or 40 bucks and it was here in two days. Well there's the starter replacement on the LT1000. Thanks for watching.